A wild card is, in general, a tournament or playoff berth awarded to an individual or team that has not qualified through normal play. International sports, in international sports, the term is perhaps best known in reference to big international sporting events such as the Olympic Games and Wimbledon. Countries which fail to produce athletes who meet qualification standards are granted wild cards, which allow them to enter competitors whose abilities are below the required standards. In some instances, wild cards are given to the host nation in order to boost their chances. However, in Olympic and World Championship competitions in track and field and swimming, nations are automatically allowed to enter two competitors. Thus these are not wild cards. In some other Olympic sports, such as judo, archery and badminton, wild cards are in use, and they are granted by the respective sport federations. On rare occasions, a competitor who gained entry by wild card succeeds in winning a medal or championship. Kai Sun Hui won gold in judo at the 1996 Summer Olympics, Ding Jun Hui won the 2005 China Open Snooker Championship, and in tennis, Karina Vania Evaya won the 2001 Wimbledon Championships and Kim Kligtis won the 2009 US Open. Furthermore, Lin Dan also gained the wild card to win the 2013 BWF World Championships for the fifth time. North America, in North American professional sports leagues, Wild card refers to a team that qualifies for the championship playoffs without winning their specific subdivision outright. The number of wild card teams varies. In most cases, the rules of the league call for the wild card team to survive an extra round and or to play the majority of their postseason games away from home. The term wild card does not apply to postseason formats where a set number of teams per division qualify. Former examples include the American Football League's 1969 playoffs, the National Basketball Association's 1967 through 1970 playoffs and 1971 to 1972 playoffs, and the National Hockey League's 1968 to 1974 and 1982 to 1993 playoffs are not true wild card formats. When a wild card playoff format is used, the number of teams in a division that qualify is not fixed. The divisional champion automatically qualifies, but non-division winners qualify, based either on league record or conference record. Major League Baseball, see also, Major League Baseball Wild Card, List of AL Wild Card Winners, List of NL Wild Card Winners, Major League Baseball Division Winners and Major League Baseball Wild Card Game, in Major League Baseball. Wild card playoff spots are given to the two teams in each league with the best records among the non-division winners. The initial wild card format was implemented after MLB expanded to 28 teams and realigned its two leagues to each have three divisions. Since a three-team playoff would require one team to receive a bye, the wild card was created to allow a fourth team. The wild card has been in effect since 1995 although it was to be used in 1994. The postseason was cancelled due to the players' strike. In 2012, a second wild card was added to each league. The two wild card teams in each league face each other in a one-game playoff, with the winner facing the number one seed in the division series. The advantages of the wild card format are that it allows a second-place team a chance to win the World Series, even if there is a dominant division winner. As the wild cards are not awarded by division, the additional teams are part of league-wide races for the fourth and fifth spots. Critics of the wild card, such as broadcaster Bob Costas in his book Fair Ball, a fan's case for baseball, have argued that, of the four major North American sports, baseball, having the most regular season games, places the largest importance on the regular season and the wild cards diminish the importance of the regular season by permitting a second banana team to make the playoffs, and that while it creates a league-wide race, it is for second place in a division, and takes away what would otherwise be a pennant race between first and second place teams, and can lead to teams playing for the wild card rather than to win the division. The second wild card was added in 2012 to address the issue of teams being content to rest players and win the wild card instead of trying to win the division. Also, because of the sudden death round, these teams often use their best starting pitcher, 
leaving them unavailable for much of the division series. A wild card team must surrender home field advantage the first two rounds of the playoffs. For the World Series, however, home field advantage is determined beforehand, without reference to wild card status. Prior to 2003, it was decided by alternating each year between the American and National Leagues. Since 2003, it has been granted to the winner of the All-Star Game. In the 2002 World Series, both the Anaheim Angels and the San Francisco Giants were wildcard teams. The World Series champions in 1997, 2003, 2004 and 2011 were also wildcard teams. Wild Card World Series Champions, 1997 Florida Marlins, 2002 Anaheim Angels, 2003 Florida Marlins, 2004 Boston Red Sox, 2011 St. Louis Cardinals, other Wild Card World Series participants, 2000 New York Mets, 2002 San Francisco Giants, 2005 Houston Astros, 2006 Detroit Tigers, 2007 Colorado Rockies, National Football League. In the National Football League, each of the two conferences sends two wild card teams along with four division champions to its postseason. The first round of the playoffs is called the wild card round. In this round, each conference's two best division champions are exempted from play and granted automatic berths in the divisional round. The four division champions are seeded from number one through number four while the two wild card teams are seeded number 5 and number 6. Within these separations, seeding is by regular season record. In the wild card round, the number 6 team plays against the number 3 team and the number 5 team plays against the number 4 team. The division champions have automatic home field advantage in these games. In the divisional round, the worst seeded remaining team plays the number 1 seeded team, while the best seeded remaining team that played in the wild card round play the number two seed. Both the number one seed and number two seed have home field advantage in the divisional round. The NFL was the first league ever to use the wild card format. When the league realigned into two conferences of three divisions each in 1970, it wanted an even four-team playoff field in each conference. This was established by having the three division champions in each conference joined by the best second place finisher in the conference. At first, this team was referred as the best second place team. The media, however, began referring to the qualifying teams as wildcards. Eventually, the NFL officially adopted the term. During the 1975, 1976, and 1977 seasons, the divisional playoffs featured the number one seed hosting the wild card team and the number two seed hosting the number three seed unless the number one seed and wild card team were divisional rivals. In that case, the number one seed hosted the number three seed and the number two seed hosted the wild card team. This was also the format used in Major League Baseball from 1995 through 2011. In 1978, the playoffs were expanded to ten teams. However, the restriction against teams in the same division playing each other in the divisional round continued until the playoffs expanded to 12 teams in 1990. During this time, the number one seed hosted the winner of the number four versus number five wild card game, while the number two seed played the number three seed. If the number one seed and the winner of the number four versus number five wild card game were in the same division, then the number one seed played the number three seed while the number two seed played the number four versus number five winner. When Major League Baseball expanded its playoffs to ten teams in 2012, it also used this format, although teams in the same division could play each other in the division series. From 1970 through 1974, the NFL used a rotation to determine which teams would host conference semifinal and final games, and which teams would play which other teams. The number of wild card qualifiers was expanded to two per conference in 1978 a Euro the divisional winners were granted a bye week while the wild card teams played. Like wild card teams before, the wild card game winner played the number one seed, or the number two seed if they and the number one seed were divisional rivals. The playoffs were expanded again to three wild cards per conference in 1990 with the lowest ranked divisional winner losing its bye. 
Following the addition of the Houston Texans in 2002, the league added a fourth division to each conference. The league decided not to change the number of playoff teams, and thus the number of wild card qualifiers was reduced to two per conference. Wild card Super Bowl champions, 1980 Oakland Raiders Super Bowl 15, 1997 Denver Broncos Super Bowl XXXII, 2000 Baltimore Ravens Super Bowl XXXV, 2005 Pittsburgh Steelers Super Bowl XL, 2007 New York Giants Super Bowl XLII, 2010 Green Bay Packers Super Bowl XLV, other wild card Super Bowl participants, 1975 Dallas Cowboys Super Bowl X, 1985 New England Patriots Super Bowl XX, 1992 Buffalo Bills Super Bowl XXVII, 1999 Tennessee Titans Super Bowl XXXIV, the 1980 Raiders, 2005 Steelers, and 1992 Bills tied for first in their division but lost a tiebreaker. While not a wild card team, the 1969 Kansas City Chiefs were the first non-division winner to win the Super Bowl. They finished second in the Western Division of the American Football League, and in that season, the last before the merger, the AFL went from having its two division winners meeting for the league title to adding a second round in which the second place team in each division qualified for the postseason. These teams played cross division in the semi final round. Thus, the Chiefs, who finished second in the West, defeated the East Division champion New York Jets in the AFL semi finals and then defeated the West Division champion Oakland Raiders to advance to Super Bowl IV, where they beat the Minnesota Vikings. Because the term wild card was not instituted until the following year, the Chiefs are not included in the above list, but are recognized as the first team to win the Super Bowl without winning a division title. National Basketball Association Although the National Basketball Association include wild card teams in their playoff structures, the term wild card is seldom used. Instead, each playoff team is most commonly denoted by its seeding position within the conference. In the NBA, division champions within each conference were given the number 1-3 seeds based on their regular season records. The two fourth-placed wild card teams are awarded the number 7 and number 8 seeds, respectively, also based on their regular season records. In the NBA playoffs, home court advantage is determined strictly by regular season record, without regard to seeding. Before the 2006 July NBA season, the NBA seeded its teams in the same manner as the NHL. Now, the NBA seeds the three division winners and the wild card team with the best record by regular season record. This means that the wild card with the best record can now get a seed as high as number two. However, your next four wild card teams will still be limited to the number five through number eight seeds. This change was made to ensure that the two best teams in each conference could not meet until the conference final and also to try and eliminate incentives for a playoff-bound team to deliberately lose games at the end of the regular season in order to choose a higher-seeded team that has won fewer games. In the NBA, the winner of the number 1 versus number 8 series goes on to face the winner of the number 5 versus number 4 series, while the winner of the number 2 versus number 7 series faces the winner of the number 6 versus number 3 series. Notice that the winner of the number 1 versus number 8 series will usually play against a wild card team in the second round of the playoffs. This is arranged deliberately to reward the number 1 seeder team by giving it the most winnable matchups in the first and second rounds. National Hockey League In the National Hockey League, the first, second, and third place team in each division qualify for the playoffs automatically with the two division champions assigned the number one and number two seeds, two additional teams, regardless of divisional alignment, also qualify by having the best records among the remaining teams in the conference. These teams are referred to as the wild cards. The division champions play the wild cards, while the second and third placed teams in each division play each other. Therefore, the bracket is fixed, like the NBA. Before the 2013-14 NHL season, division champions within each conference were given the number 1-3 seeds based on their regular season records. 
the two fourth-placed wildcard teams are awarded the number 7 and number 8 seeds, respectively, also based on their regular season records. The division champions and the best second-place team were given home ice advantage in the opening playoff series, in which they face the eighth-seeded through fifth-seeded teams, respectively. However, the playoff format differed slightly from that of the NBA. In the NHL, the highest winning seed of the first round played the lowest winning seed of the first round in the next round of the playoffs. For example, if the number one, number four, number six, and number seven seeds win their respective first round series then the second round of the playoffs match the number one seed versus the number seven seed and the number four seed versus the number six seed. Home ice advantage in each NHL playoff series prior to the Stanley Cup Finals was granted by superior seed, even if the wild card team had a better regular season record. For the finals, the team with the better record will receive home ice advantage. Major League Soccer Major League Soccer, the top level of soccer in both countries, used a wild card format starting in its 2011 playoffs. The top three teams from each of its two conferences automatically qualified for the conference semi-finals, while the four remaining teams with the highest point totals in league play, without regard to conference, earned wild cards into the playoffs. The wild card matches were single games, with the number 7 seed hosting the number 10 seed and the number 8 seed hosting the number 9 seed. The lowest surviving seed then played the supporters' shield winner, while the other surviving wild card played the top seed in the other conference. The wild card format was revamped for the 2012 season. The top five teams from each conference now qualify for the playoffs, with the number one, two, and number three seeds in each conference automatically qualifying for the conference semi-finals, and the number four and number five seeds in each conference being wild cards. The winner of the wild card game in each conference now plays the number one seeds in the conference semi-finals. Professional Tennis In professional tennis tournaments, a wild card refers to a tournament entry awarded to a player at the discretion of the organizers. All ATP and WTA tournaments have a few spots set aside for wild cards in both the main draw, and the qualifying draw, for players who otherwise would not have made either of these draws with their professional ranking. They are usually awarded to players from the home and or sponsoring country, promising young players, players that are likely to draw a large crowd, have won the tournament earlier or players who were once ranked higher and are attempting a comeback. High-ranked players can also ask for a wild card if they want to enter a non-mandatory tournament after the normal entry deadline, for example because they lost early in another tournament. This means a wild card player sometimes becomes the top seed. Some Grand Slam tournaments swap wild cards, like Australian Open, French Open and US Open. 1. Notable wildcards In 2001, Garin Avania Evaya won the Wimbledon Men's Singles Championships having been handed a wild card entry by the organising All England Lawn Tennis and Croquet Club. At the time, he was ranked world number 125. In 2009, Kim Klijt has won the US Open tournament after receiving a wild card entry. It was her first Grand Slam tournament since announcing her comeback to the sport, having first retired in 2007 to start a family. In 2012, Jonathan Murray and Frederick Nielsen won the Wimbledon men's doubles after being selected as a wild card. Motorsport, motorcycle racing, in motorcycle racing the term wild card is used for competitors only involved in individual rounds of a championship usually their local round. Local riders taking advantage of their local knowledge and affording to take risks without planning for a championship, often upset established runners. Makoto Tamada and Shaky Burn have both taken double victories in Superbike World Championship rounds in their home countries. The most famous wild card entry perhaps was the late Deja Ricardo with finishing third at his first appearance in 1996 and then winning the Japanese 250cc Grand Prix back-to-back -back in 1997 and 1998 on his way to become the most successful 250cc world champion of all time in 2001. Grand Prix Motorcycle Racing each Grand Prix host federation may nominate three wild card entries for the Moto3 and Moto2 classes in their own Grand Prix only. 
the MSMA may, at each event, nominate one wild card entry for the Moto2 and MotoGP classes. The FIM may, at each event, nominate two wild card entries for the Moto3 and Moto2 classes and FIMDO or NA may, at each event, nominate one wild card entry for the MotoGP class. Superbike World Championship each event host federation may nominate four wild card entries for the Superbike class and two wild card entries for the Super Sport and Super Stock classes, in their own event only. The FIM may nominate two wild card entries for the Superbike class. Motorcycle Speedway In Motorcycle Speedway, wild cards compete in the Speedway Grand Prix events in which there is one wild card per competition. So far only three wild cards have won a Grand Prix, those were Mark Loram in 1999, Martin Dugard in 2000, Hans Andersen in 2006 who later that year replaced a permanent rider, and went on to win another GP and Michael Jepsen Jensen in 2012. Auto racing, wild card entries are not unknown in auto racing either, although the Concord Agreement in modern day Formula One requires all teams to participate in every event. John Love came close to winning the 1967 South African Grand Prix in a wild card type situation, long before the term had been coined. Although the term is rarely used in NASCAR, the concept of a road course ringer is similar. Before the late 1990s, Nextel Cup and Bush Series races in the West and Northeast respectively would have several drivers from the Winston West and Bush North Series, as the series regulations were very similar, and until the mid 2000s, ARCA drivers would usually attempt cup races in the Midwest and at restrictor plate races. During the period of the mid-1980s until 2004, individual NASCAR races utilized the promoter's option to allow a top driver team that did not qualify for the race, the opportunity for a wild card type starting position at the end of the grid. This allowed track owners to advertise and guarantee to fans that the most popular drivers would participate in the race even if the driver had an unfortunate mishap or crash during time trials. Starting in 2005, only the former champion's provisional remains. During the NASCAR Sprint All-Star Race one driver who fails to qualify for the race is awarded a wild card spot via fans' choice vote. In 2008, Casey Kahn, was selected as a wild card via fan vote, and went on to win the race. From 2011 to 2013, NASCAR's top-level Sprint Cup series used wild cards in a different context, namely that of qualifying for the season-ending chase for the Sprint Cup. In previous seasons, the top 12 drivers and championship points after the first 26 races of the season automatically qualified for the chase, with their points reset to a point unreachable by any other driver. Under the 2011 Euro 2013 system, only the top 10 drivers automatically qualified. The other two chase qualifiers were the two drivers ranked from 11th through 20th after 26 races with the most race wins, with tiebreakers used as necessary to restrict the number of wild cards to two. Major changes to the chase format that took effect in 2014, most notably determining the newly expanded chase field of 16 mainly by race wins, eliminated this type of wild card. Use outside North America, although the term wild card is not generally used in this context outside North America, a few competitions effectively employ such a system to determine one or more places in a future phase of a competition. Olympics, in the Olympics, several sport governing bodies award wild cards to nations in order to further promote their sport. Sports governing bodies will either make selections or hold a tournament to determine the wild cards. One such notable wild card selection was Equatorial Guinea swimmer Eric Musambani, who finished last in the 100m event in the 2000 Summer Olympics. Euroleague The Euroleague, a Europe wide competition for elite basketball clubs, once had one wild card advancing from its first phase, officially the regular season, to its second called the Top 16. The rule was in place through the 2007-08 season. At that time, the competition began each year with 24 clubs, divided into three groups. Then as now, the groups played a double round robin for the regular season, with eight clubs eliminated and the remaining clubs advancing to the Top 16. 
Under the rules in place through 2007 a Euro 08, the top five clubs in each group automatically advanced. The final wild card spot in the top 16 went to the sixth place club with the best overall record, with three potential tie-breaking steps. A coin toss is not indicated as a possible step. Starting in 2008 a Euro 09, the wild card was abolished when the regular season was reorganized into four groups with six teams apiece. Now, the top four teams in each group advance to the top 16. No change to the tiebreakers was made. FIBA Basketball World Cup, the World Championship for Basketball, the FIBA Basketball World Cup, invites four wild cards to complete its 24-team field. Teams have to participate in qualifying for the World Cup, have to apply to be one, and FIBA is not allowed more than three teams from the same continent in order to be selected. This setup began in 2006, where Italy, Puerto Rico, Serbia and Montenegro, and Turkey were selected by FIBA. Turkey made the best performance, reaching the quarter-finals. In 2010, FIBA selected Germany, Lithuania, Lebanon, and Russia as the wild cards, with Lithuania finishing third, and Russia making it to the quarter-finals. For the 2014 FIBA Basketball World Cup, FIBA selected Brazil, Finland, Greece, and Turkey. 2014 will be the last time FIBA will select wild cards, as the 2019 FIBA Basketball World Cup would no longer have wild cards when it expands to 32 teams. Heineken Cup and European Challenge Cup, the Heineken Cup, rugby union's analogue to the EuroLeague, also has wild card teams advancing to its knockout stages. Starting in 2009 a Euro 10, the competition organizer, European Rugby Cup, instituted a system that allows other wild car teams to parachute into ERC's second tier competition, the European Challenge Cup. Like the Euroleague regular season, the Heineken Cup starts each season with 24 clubs and divides them into pools, with each team playing a double round robin within its pool. However, Heineken Cup pools consist of four clubs instead of the EuroLeague six, resulting in six pools. Eight clubs advance to the knockout stages. The top club in each pool advances. The two wild card places are filled by the two second place clubs with the best overall records. Since 2009 a Euro 10, the three second place teams with the next best records have parachuted into the Challenge Cup. The tie-breaking procedure used to determine overall seeding, is almost as elaborate as that of the NFL, with a total of seven steps. Prior to 2009 a Euro 10, the Challenge Cup also had wild car teams entering its knockout stages. That competition begins with 20 teams, divided into four team pools as in the Heineken Cup, resulting in five pools. The top club in each pool advanced to the knockout stage, along with the three second place teams with the best records, using the same tie-breaking procedure as the Heineken Cup. Starting in 2009 a Euro 10, only the winner of each pool enters the knockout stage, to be joined by the teams parachuting in from the Heineken Cup. Super Rugby, the Super Rugby competition, involving regional franchises from Australia, New Zealand, and South Africa, adopted a new playoff system with wild cards, when it expanded to 15 teams in 2011. In its previous incarnations as Super 12 and Super 14, it used a Shaughnessy playoff system in which the top four teams advanced to a knockout stage. The expansion to 15 teams led to major changes in the competition format. The competition is now divided into three conferences of five teams each, with every conference consisting solely of teams from one of the participating countries. At the end of the regular season, the winners of each conference receive playoff berths. These teams are joined by three wild cards, specifically the three non-winners with the most competition points without regard to conference. Philippine Basketball Association In the Philippine Basketball Association, the playoffs are done after an elimination round where the top two teams with the best records are given semi-final buys, the next three are given quarter-final buys, your next four are given entry to the wild card phase, and the tenth team is eliminated. The winner of the wild card playoffs, varying in format from a round robin, a single elimination or sudden death, 
usually meets the strongest quarter-finalist. The wild card winner's next opponent for the quarter-finals rested while the wild card phase was ongoing so the chance of advancing to the semi-finals is slim. The only wild card champion are the seventh-seeded Barangay Ginebra Kings in the 2004 PBA Fiesta Conference after seven years of championship drought they made an epic run all the way to the throne in which the top two teams were given semi-final buys while the bottom eight went through a knockout wild card tournament. Since the addition of the quarter-final buy, no wild card has entered the finals, although the Air 21 Express won the third-place trophy at the 2005-06 PBA Fiesta Conference. The wild card setup was no longer used when the league reverted to the three-conference format starting from the 2010-11 PBA season. Aside from basketball or sports, in the Philippines there was a wild card winner names Riza Maydizan of Angeles City, Pampanga from a pageant Little Miss Philippines for young little Filipina girl on a noontime TV show Eat Bulaga. Riza Maydizan now a popular child actress and TV host in the Philippines. And she has a record-breaking movie My Little Bossing. ISU Grand Prix of Figure Skating Final, for both the Junior and Senior Grand Prix of Figure Skating Final, the hosting federation may issue a wild card invitation to one of their own skaters should no skater from the host country qualify for the event through the Grand Prix circuit. Use of the wild card has not been common. However, it was used at the 2007-2008 Junior Grand Prix final by the Polish Federation. International Association Football, generally in international football, especially in Europe. Second-place teams are placed in a playoff format which is determined by number of goals scored each team makes in each game. If both teams score the same number of goals, the away goals rule is applied. If both teams have the same number of away goals scored, the game goes into a penalty shootout. The last-placed team in the group is eliminated. All-Ireland Senior Football Championship In the All-Ireland Senior Football Championship, the premier competition in Gaelic football, each of the 32 counties in Ireland as well as London and New York play in their respective provincial championships through a knockout cup competition format without seeds. The winners of each of the four provincial championships earn one of eight places in the All-Ireland quarterfinals. The 30 teams that fail to win their respective provincial championships receive a second opportunity to reach the All-Ireland series via the All-Ireland qualifiers. Road cycling, in road cycling, a wild card refers to an invitation to a race which a particular team would not normally be able to enter. Usually used for top division races where the organization want more teams, lower league teams will be invited. It is very common to offer a wild card for teams from the same country to help local sport and to boost national pride. For example, for the 100th Tour de France in 2013. The organizers awarded three wildcards to French teams, Cofidis, Zerson and Team Europe Car, all of which were UCI professional continental teams at the time and therefore not automatically invited, unlike the UCI pro teams which made up the vast majority of the entry list. Teams can apply for a wild card. Badminton, in badminton, a wild card was given to Chinese badminton player, Lin Dan for the entry of 2013 World Championship. He eventually won the champion of the tournament. References